Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 17 Hasu League quarterfinal. Upper left hand corner. Did I forget to update the score? We're going to end up with a little black screen thing in between here. Sorry guys. Well, whoops. Maybe you catch the magic here on the map for a second. Oop, oop, oop. There we go. One, one a piece. One a piece. And sorry for the black screen. That's just what happens when I alt tab. So. We are even up. We got Zazu upper left hand corner as the red Zerg bottom right hand corner. We got Hedgek as the hot pink Zerg. This is going to be on Invader. Kind of an interesting two player map. I'm not sure how this plays out ZVZ. We'll have to see. Hasn't been chosen very often. And I believe it's loser's choice in the round of eight from this stage on. So an interesting pick for him. From Hedgek, it could be because I, I think this is one of those older school maps. Maybe it just feels, I, I'm trying to think, is it, I think it's in the current map pool. This is what you, this is what you get when you're not like an, I want to tell you guys a story uh, while all things are warming up. It looks like we're seeing a pool, a pool. I don't play on the ladder all that often. I mostly just, so most of the information I'm absorbing, I'm absorbing for the replays. Part of the thing is, is I just don't have time and uh, honestly it's a stress thing as well. I don't know that I have spare stress to <laughs> hop on the ladder. There was a time I was hanging out with Jayun, the top North American Zerg slash Protoss player. And he was asking, oh, where's Artosis at? And the latter thing. And I think I said straight faced, I don't know, I think he's somewhere between like 24, 26 or whatever, just because I don't pay attention to ladder numbers at all. And I was just throwing out where I thought he was, which, and Jayun, to his credit, flat face did not flinch at all. But I'm sure he mentally registered, I cannot trust anything Diggity says. <laughs> <laughs> from now on whatever it's just i'm not allowed a player the points don't matter to me except to to talk about how close two opponents are looks like we saw overpool on the opposite side by the way but credit to jayun on that so shout out to him overall he is a fantastic channel by the way if you and also an incredible discord and he's currently running napl and i want to give that shout out as well but let's focus on the present we got six zerglings being spawned Love the embarrassing tales of the... I did play in like 99, 2000 when I had the space to do it. And I tried to do it again around, I think, the 2008 space. I think I managed like C minus. C was about as high as it was ever getting. I was usually hanging around D plus. Zergling speed starting up for Hedgek. That was in a tough icy cup era though. There were a lot of players then. And it was against Koreans, I guess, with the time zone, whatever. So, But this is just me making excuses. Not a good player. Anyway, layer morphing. Better commentator, by far. Zerglings able to get into the natural expansion. Hedgek up a drone once again. Gonna try to abuse that surface area. He's also gonna end up with that Zergling speed. A single drone trying to even the odds. And actually doing a great job interrupting. It gets taken out. That's gonna even up the worker count both directions. Zergling still trying to pick away. But Hedgek actually behind economically with his drone out in the field. Right this second. Still waiting on, and I think I said uh, Hedrick had speed. It's actually Zazu who's got the speed advantage right now. Trying to surround that hatchery. Hasn't managed to get a lot of damage done on it. Is he going to be able to focus down this drone? And uh, Concavity actually working against Hedrick right that second. The Zergling is able to make it into the main just to see the layer finishing. Two Zerglings right there creating a bit of delay. The drone's not pulling as of yet. Some nice discipline on Hedrick's part. One drone picked off right there. That gives Zazu the overall lead. And on top of that, he's got this layer morphing much more rapidly. So Hedgek completely on the defense. He's going to have a much later layer. He does have that natural expansion up earlier. And usually when you go for that later spawning pool, you want to have what that usually translates to is more drones to work with. And instead, now down to seven. Ooh, and this is starting to look ugly for, for Hedgek overall. In fact, he's already stopped mining gas. He needs to get down an evolution chamber. More Zerglings flooding into the natural, so we're not seeing the counterattack with a superior larva count. It looks like the ramp is going to be held at the very least. But, oh man, Hedgek kind of flubbing it a little bit here, so two Zerglings still able to make it into the main. So we already got a defensive creep colony and a spire. Let's see if that now, yeah, it's morphing to the Sutton colony. This might be an overwhelming amount of Zerglings, but Hedgek, if he's going to win it... Okay, it looks like he has cleaned up the Zerglings. It's hard to tell with that hot pink. Was able to clean it up at the main. Some Zerglings wiped out there. The Sunken Colony is finished. And I think this is plenty. Although the drone, the drone count has now shifted to Hedgek's favor. With that last drone kill. And right now with the defensive posture. The drone's not able to mine. Which is going to delay a little bit. 
of that faster spire. More Zerglings trying to flood in. Hadjik recognizing that if a Mutalisk or two make it out, it could be end game and wants to try to force Zazu off the mining lines. He's up a worker right this second. Right now, trying to gather up. He wants to get kind of the two surface spread so he can dive into this. Right now, Zazu saving resources to try to get some Mutalisks up in the air. He has queued one up. Drone's doing a great drill over that sunken colony. That could be... Sorry for dinging the mic there. That could be the saving grace right here. I get too excited and my hands start flying around all over the place. So a Mutalisk gonna end up in flight. Hedgek once again pressing the Zerglings forward. We'll see if we see another fantastic drone drill. Unfortunately, it looks like they're behind right this second. Six workers versus six, but the Mutalisk counts out there. Zazu now down a drone. But he's got an air army to move up and repel the additional... Well, is he going to try to deal with the Zerglings? Looks like he's just going to move that Mutalus forward to try to kill what he can. And, and But in the meantime, Hedgek with his Zerglings has dropped the count to four. So it's going to be up to the air army of these two Mutalisks to counter. And did we, we do have an evolution chamber, but we do not yet have a spore colony on Hedgek's side of the map. So fortunes could change very, very rapidly. Let's see if the drones start running between here and the natural expansion to buy some time. It looks like they're holding position right this second. And unfortunately, okay, now they're fle fleeing. That might have been better to do a little bit earlier. But some excellent micro from Zazu, reducing the worker count just before the spore finishes to two. Hedgek has two drones left to his name. So Zazu now with a very strong economy. Hedgek needs to dive with what he's got. Otherwise, that could very likely be game. He's able to pick off yet another drone. But between that Spire being functional and that something colony in place, this, this is Zazu's game to lose. And the Mutalus also can just start... Ooh, a drone actually got out of position there. Bad rally. And so now Zazu can easily take down this hatchery as well, which was a bit of an advantage opposite side. The Zerglings running across to potentially engage another drone poorly rallied. Hedgek needs to be careful with that. Zerglings engaging Zerglings midfield and the Mutalists just working on what they can. They're actually going to be able to do some cutoff damage, which will open up the Zerglings to assist on taking down that natural expansion hatchery. And it's just going to get worse from here for Hedgek overall. The Zerglings at moving forward want to take down that spore or force the Zerglings off the line. Everything he can do to really tax Hedgek will be more movement towards victory right this second. Zerglings being expended on both ends. More drones now on the edge. It looks like that Spore Colony still going to hold, but not a lot of health left. And they're having trouble. It looks like they're just focus firing in, so that Spore just a hit away. Those two mules should be able to just tap that. And with that, that should be game right there, because now the drones have zero defense. <laughs> a little bit of Polish being talked both directions. But Zazu picking up a game over his opponent. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.